Okay, for this question number 136 in the GMI review 2016, we have 12 pens and 3 are defective. Um, so we have a total of 12 pens, uh, 3 are defective, okay, defective, and obviously 9, if you subtract that, 9 will be, um, I guess, okay, meaning they're they're good, they're not defective. So the question I was asking, um, you know, what is the probability that when a number is, a pen is picked, that it will not be de defective? And we want to do that twice, meaning the first one we select is not defective, and the second one we select is, is not defective either. So um, the definition of probability is focus over total, meaning we whatever we want over the total. So if I say, what is the probability of picking students in a class that wear glasses, for example? That means the focus is students who wear glasses. So I'm gonna count that number divided by the total number of students in a class. If I ask for the probability of students in a class that wear glasses, that's how you'd set that up. So in this particular question, when it's asking for non-defective, it's gonna be nine, because that's the number that's okay, that's not defective, over 12 which is a total. This will be the for the first time we select, okay? Now, for the second time we select, if you kind of think about it, if there were 12 pens initially, well, there are not going to be 11 pens left because you've selected one that is not defective out of that. Well, at the same time, the number that is not defective has now gone down as well to eight because there's a new total number of 11 and there's a new total number of those not defective because you've selected it a non-defective one the first time. So this is the probability that the first will be non-defective and the second will be non-defective. And at this point, you multiply that essentially. Um, so the, here, we just need to reduce this math a little bit. Four goes here, two, four goes here, three. Three goes in nine, three. So this gives us a situation where we're gonna get six over 11. And the answer to that is C. So it's a very simple process, understand the formula for probability, and then think about the first case what you're going to get. And then the second case, keeping in mind that you've taken one out um, and everything goes down by one. So that's how we get that. And you reduce that and you get six over 11, six over 11 which is C.